Yo, what's up? What's up? Tony here hanging out with you today from Paradise Garage. Hope you're doing excellent. Hope you're doing well. I'm hanging out in the bus here, uh, getting some work done today. And uh, we're going to be going live talking about auto body and any of your projects. Let's open the window here. So before we get started, if you are a Learn Auto Body VIP member, uh, let me know if you're a Learn Auto Body VIP member or not, where you're tuning in from, when you joined, what projects you're working on, yada, yada, yada. If you're brand new to the stream, never been on before, uh, just type in brand new, you know, never been on or whatever. And also don't forget to type in where you're tuning in from. Okay. And just give me a quick little update on the audio and visual. Like, can you guys see me? Okay. Okay. Loud and clear. How Schwinn, Florida custom fab Russ lifetime VIP member help. Everyone is doing great. Um, Thanks, Russ, for hopping on. Harold Schwinn, uh, as more and more people get on here, I am just double checking, making sure things are good. Uh, let's see. Okay, so since everybody can hear me, uh, I'm just going to go here quickly. And for all the new guys just tuning in, you can go to learnautobodyandpaint.com to get more free auto body training uh, and go through some of our uh, our favorite content videos that when you subscribe, you'll give it, you'll be getting access to those free trainings via email. Um, so check it out, check it out. <clears throat> okay. Uh, don't forget if you're just tuning in, don't forget to, uh, check out Zula.com for awesome spray guns as well. And also don't forget to sub share like, and much, much mahalo from Hawaii. What's up chili Willie? Uh, Chuck lifetime VIP, North Carolina looks good. Sounds good. So what are you guys working on? What are you guys working on? What kind of projects are you working on? And also if you guys can leave me some quick little feedback on the last couple of videos that we uploaded, um, on the Grom project, I'm kind of like segmenting the project. I don't know if you guys like that. Let me know. Um, I do plan on releasing an A to Z video on the whole project. Um, you know, maybe a 20 minute video. I don't know yet. But would you want that sooner than later? Or do you like the little chunk style, how to epoxy rims, you know, how to 2K filler primer? Um, the next one could be sanding and painting candy. If you guys want to see that step on the rims, we can do that. Uh, basically, just getting the primer ready. Uh, and <laughs> this dog's hilarious. And painting the rims candy. That could be a, another segment. You guys want to see that or you guys want to wait? An extra little while and then wait for the whole shebang shebang a to z content and um and release the segments later i don't know you let me know but um nice to see everybody on tonight <clears throat> we got arnold ricchetti in the house 94 ss impala front bumper what does that mean projects working on my oh let's do this so working on my Carport S10 will be next, then my 46 Chevy. Beautiful. What year is the S10? I like I like little S10s. My brother had like an 83 or 85 S10 he bought brand new. And he just recently got rid of it because <laughs> it was just junking in his backyard. It was, a, it was like literally a rust bucket. Um just did the ram 3500 dually the ppg the fleet essential single stage turned out great awesome uh how much did you pay for that kit about a 200 bucks give or take for the uh 175 200 let me know um arnold says he likes the mini clips great what's up jesus what's up what's up um s10 is 84 v8 nice 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 my brother had one like that the boxy boxy version uh, he had the V6 in it, stock, original, you know, five-speed, bare bones, manual windows. That was his um, his carpenter truck for like 25, 30 years. Like he drove it to the ground. And then somebody driving by his property saw it all rust bucketed up and they wanted to take it. So he's like, yeah, go ahead, take it. My projects are Buny Motorcycle Complete Paint and Redo a nine oh 2009 bmw e90 project that's awesome are you making money on these projects or is it something you're doing for friends and family what are you doing with that just curious 
All right, guys. So I had about 500 bucks in two gallons of paint and primer. That's not too bad. That's not too bad for two gallon kits and primer. Not bad at all. Because, you know, materials going up. You guys know that. And it, materials, are, I think, are going to continue to go up. It's just pretty sad. Um, my daughter's car and the bike is my friend's. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So what else is new, guys? This is your time. Any newbie on here want to ask a auto body question? No question is newbie enough for us. I mean, whatever. It could be a stupid question on sandpaper grits or whatever. I mean, we're here. This is your time. Um, I take about 20, 30 minutes every Monday night um, to answer your questions because I know you guys have specific you know, projects you're working on. You, you might be at different stages. And we have VIP members on here that will also help you out um, because they're doing it. You know, they, you, you know, there's people in here doing what we do. You know, it's a great little community that we have here. And <clears throat> hope you guys are liking the new content. We got a lot more coming. Um, you know, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be cool. We got a lot of stuff coming down the pipeline. Actually, BMW. I'm thinking of doing next. I'm kind of planning out some graphics on it. Uh, it's gonna be all paint, all paint. You know, no vinyl wrap, all paint. We're gonna do custom paint work on this thing. I'm not sure what color yet, but I'm thinking some sort of candy candy fade candy with graphics on the side all painted all painted okay maybe even pinstriped um to make look super cool okay so that's what we're planning out i'm also planning on painting the bus i'm just figuring out the colors of this thing what we want to do and we will get it done so yeah yeah guys um Okay, Jesus, I'm glad that worked out for you. Uh, Jesus had a problem with one of his spray guns. I told him to go to Zula.com to get the part, uh, the air control. He got it, fixed it, works great. Um, yeah, Zula has parts. Zula has all the parts you need for Atom X spray guns. So don't forget about Zula.com um, if you guys want to check out um, awesome spray guns. And um, at Zula, you also get, well, with Adam, when you buy Adam spray guns, you get free, you get a free gun bud light system, which is, do I have one here? I got so much stuff in this bus. It's crazy. But we'll just, we'll just chill here for now. Um, I don't know how good the lighting is. It's probably not the best right now. But I just wanted to drop, <coughs> drop this link. Oh, <clears throat> okay. Um, first time restoring a car, an Atom X27 and gun bud primer base coat went well. Clear coat, I have many runs on the clear coat. Okay, well, runs are natural. Okay, <laughs> when painting, you will get runs, whether you are a pro painting for. 25 years or not, sometimes you're going to get sloppy. Okay. You might not be good in the beginning and at first, and then you get runs, or you might be too good at, at, you know, doing this for years and you just get sloppy. Okay. You get sloppy and you wet it a little extra and then you get runs. But you got to be careful. Um, I was known when I was 16 17 18 to have no runs in any of my paint jobs and they come out like glass and <clears throat> you know i used to get paid to go to body shops to just spray a car one hour i make a hundred bucks and this is way back when you know crazy that i did all that but i did it you know that's how i made a lot of my money <laughs> as a as a teenager Okay. Um, Arnold says, how hard is it to fix a front bumper that's cracked or you think it's best order replacement? It depends on the crack, how big it is, but most times you can easily fix bumper covers that are cracked. You know, if they're a plastic uh, bumper cover, okay, they can be fixed. 
Um, you can get that fancy stitch weld crap. I don't know if you want to spend your money and waste your time with that. You could, you know, you don't need it. All you need is an angle grinder, wire wheel, grind the back, make like a V notch on both sides, the front and back, heat it up with a, a heat gun or a hair dryer if needed, bend it, you know, mold it, push the dent out. And we have videos on this in VIP. <clears throat> Arnold, I'm so, I'm I'm shocked that you don't already know how to do this. You probably already know how to do it, but and then you use the epoxy, the panel bonding epoxy, um, front and back, okay, and just repair. We have videos in VIP doing this type of stuff, um, especially on the Miata Miata projects. Um, it's all step by step, <clears throat> but it, it depends on the crack, and most of the cracks can be fixed pretty easily. How do I fix runs? Well, basically you're gonna learn how to color sand and buff. Um, and there are some techniques that you can use. You know, some people put glaze putty on it, let it dry so you could see. I never really got into that or ever did that. So I never went that route, but it is, I guess, sort of a guide coat if you want a guide coat. For me, I think there's enough there. You could just look at it and see, you know? You can see the waviness or you can see how it's cutting when you're sanding and when you're wet sanding. You basically need a flat block, uh, maybe <clears throat> 1,500 grit if you don't want to get too aggressive. 15 is a good all-around cutting cutting grit. Uh, if you want to get aggressive, you can go 1,200, a little bit more aggressive, 800 or 1,000. But if you don't know what you're doing, if you're a newbie, I would not start cutting at 800 um, <clears throat> or 1,000 maybe 1200 to 1500 this way you you don't cut through because once your color sanding once you cut through to the base coat or <clears throat> to your mid coat and you start distorting some of the colors or whatever or the metallics or you get through to the base coat it's hard to fix without repainting you know or or, or touching up the area hope you guys get that does that make sense <clears throat> Um, and then you buff it out. Harold Schwinn, I believe you are a VIP member. Look at the auto body projects in VIP. We have step-by-step -step videos on, on buffing. Only problem I seen, I had a few little pinhole looking air bubbles and a spot in a spot in the back. Who's that? Somebody's texting me. It's been painted for three days now. You can push the bubble down, but it's the size of a needle head. Hmm, huh, it'd be interesting. Maybe send me a picture or a little mini video. Was there air in it? You know, if you got pinholes and body filler and, and you have and you're painting over pinholes, you're gonna get that issue. You gotta make sure your work is pinhole free, you know, and make sure it's primed, filled, blocked, ready for paint. <clears throat> The crack is right where it meets the fender, Tony. That's why I asked. Yeah, it depends where it is, Arnold. It really, if you feel like you can fix it, then fix it. If it, if it feels like it's in a real bad spot that you can't bond it together somehow, then just get a price a bumper cover and replace it. Hi, Tony, VIP from KJI. Where Where is that? Gavin, what's up? Tuning in from South Africa, how is everybody? Hey, Tony, what do you think about the post welders from Harbor Freight? Uh, reason I have a few dents on my door and my... Uh, when you're talking about post welders, what are you talking about? Are you talking about uh, the spot welders the for the pin? You know, are you talking about that? The pin spot welders or... I'm thinking you're thinking about that, but I would say Harbor Freight, why not try it? You know, people always ask me about tools and, you know, my reply is work within your budget and try it. If it works out, then it works out, you know. But if you get any spray guns, make sure you keep them clean. You could be using a $100 spray gun, a $300 spray gun or a $1,000 spray gun. You want to keep them clean, okay? Keeping them clean will ensure that they last a long time. The number one cause of failure for spray guns, you don't keep them clean. They get caked up, okay? You damage the needle, okay? Or you drop it. 
it's a very sensitive product. You know, it's a very sensitive tool, the spray gun, you know, because you got your gauges, your dials on it, your knobs, your, your tip. Once you mess that up, the gun's history, unless you get a brand new tip kit for it. Um, but that's the main thing. You keep your guns clean. I have some of my dad's old Binks in, in Texas, 35, 40 year old spray guns. They still work. You know, you just got to make sure you clean them well. I mean, they look like crap. They look like they wouldn't spray, but they spray, <laughs> you know, um, Jesus says, Tony, I have a question. Is it true when you sand out a trash on the clear and just that little spot can cause a dent if too much? I worked in a body shop. Someone told me that. Yeah, well, I mean, it doesn't make a dent. It'll make a, well, it won't make a dent in the metal, right? It'll make a little, little dent in your clear. So when sanding, you want to kind of make sure to feather the whole area as well. You don't want to just cut too much in one area. Okay, you can um, with a DA. If you're looking to get out like light fish eye or something, you can just use the corner of your DA and sand this way and sand this way. You know, use use the circular part to cut it. And then I, I like to go on top of it flat just to flatten it out and then buff it. So, so yeah. All right, cool. I'll check, I'll check the pictures out. Finally made it today. What's up, Tony? How's it going? It's going great. Those Harbor Freight welders are awesome for 99 bucks. Which, which, what kind of welder are you talking about guys? Spot welder, a stud welder. Or MIG welder? I don't think I got the uh, MIG welder from the MIG I got was from Amazon, and I'm about to use it again. Um, thanks, Tony. If it wasn't for your course, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't even know how to start. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. So, uh, stud welder. Nice. Yeah, you can get them pretty cheap. I actually. Don't need one at the moment, but if I need one, you know, I'll, I'll get one. But I'm trying to do projects that don't need a lot of body work at the moment, you know, big dents and all, uh, because I plan on going back to Dallas in the next few weeks or months to to basically pick up all my my shop stuff and bring it back, ship it over to Hawaii in a container. We're going to get a 40 foot, 20 or probably a 40 foot container, fill it up, ship my cars back and uh and all that yeah okay um what else you guys want to talk about other things right now like i've been really excited about crypto <laughs> um Anybody watch the uh, the crypto conference in Miami? I've been watching that on YouTube last night. Yeah, guys, don't forget to hit that like button. Check it out. Hit that like button. Uh, any of you got the stud gun from Harbor Freight? I was looking at buying one, got a budget for around 300 bucks for one, but we'll only use it a few times a month. Well, you'll probably make that money back on your first job. Um, I know Amazon has a couple good ones for, I think, cheaper than that also. But, any, I mean, they usually don't have any problems. They work. You know, it's a very simple product, a, a welder. Well, a stud welder. It just heats up and you, you know, you weld it on. There's really nothing to it. Um, let's see. All right. So. All right. So I'm just going to drop a link here for for newbies that haven't got some free training at learn auto body and paint right there just click that button and if you guys are looking for awesome spray guns the same guns that we use 
check them out at Zula.com. Even uh, I think eBay and Amazon. Tony, I just painted my small walk-in garage door metal with Zula Pearl. Looks great. What color? What color did you do it? What color base and what color pearl? I'm kind of curious. Send me a picture, man. Once again, I got no notification. Crypto fixing to rocket. <laughs> Once again, I got no notification. Steven Mitchell, I would go to my channel page on YouTube and maybe unsubscribe and then subscribe again. And then make sure you hit the, uh, here's the link. I'm going to give you the link. Make sure you hit the post note, the, the bell for notifications, guys. If you guys are not getting notifications, um, I know a lot of people, like after we do these live streams, we get emails of people saying, hey, Tony, I missed a live, but I didn't, get an, I didn't get a notification. You need to be subscribed to the YouTube channel and the bell needs to be clicked. So maybe, I don't know, unsubscribe and try to resubscribe again. White Pearl, awesome. Uh, what light do you recommend when spraying a car in the, in the booth to check how you're spraying the base so it won't look like tiger stripes or something? Dude, I think you already know the answer to it. Uh, the answer is gun bud, guys. You really got to get the product. It's a great product uh, if you haven't checked it out. But seriously, I've painted with that thing in complete darkness in the garage okay uh with lights on in my garage with the light it helps so much because you eliminate all shadows and it's the best sunlight slash bright light on on your settings that you want to see exactly how you're spraying on your pearls flakes candies everything seriously it works really well so I don't know. I just gave you an Amazon link. You can check it out. Um, but then if you get a spray gun at Zula.com, you actually get a free gun, bud. So that might be something you might want to check out as well. Um, other than that, anybody got any last Q&As, guys? Any last Q&As? We're going to start to wrap it up right now. Um, and I'm just trying to think of. Yeah, gun butt is even great with good lighting. And it's true. It's really true. It's really true. So any last questions? I painted the garage door white, then added white pearl and some intercoat, two coats, then clear coat on top, two coats. Probably came out beautiful. I love pearl white. Pearl white's a very nice color. You know what looks good in pearl white? I've mixed pearl white before with a touch of gold in it. It makes the white like a creamy. It looks a little creamy and it looks beautiful. Like a really like a touch, you know, maybe like if you're mixing a quart, I would add, you know, like get your key or something and just grab a little bit of gold pearl, like whatever lumps up at the end. That's all you need for a quart um it'll really it'll really do something with white pearl you mix it with white pearl have a tint of a gold in it oh my god it's it turns it into it reminds me of the old nissan maxima pearl when it came out back in like 95 the nice the square nissan maximas had this really nice pearl color um that was really popular and it looks like that very nice color and it had a tint of gold in it anyway just an idea um, how do you change color if paint is okay? Okay, so we have, Charlie, you are a VIP member, I believe. We have step-by-step -step videos on changing, complete changing the color of a car. You basically got to prep the door jams, spray the door jams, and then do the outside, or you could do the whole paint job at once, or you could do the outside, then later do the door jams. Paint is okay. All you have to do is scuff your clear coat down. Uh, to about 400, 500 grit, and you could just paint right on top of that, any color you want. How do you get over spray off engine bay? That's a good question. 
it uh, depends if the overspray is on a porous or non-porous surface. Non-porous is going to come out a lot easier. You could probably try using a clay bar on valve covers or chrome or whatever you got under there. But if it's if you got overspray on a porous undercoating, it's going to be super hard. You're going to have to just respray it with undercoating or or I don't know. You know, you're going to have to wash it off somehow. It depends on what the overspray is on, like I said. <clears throat> Barry Ladd, did you sell your Texas property? You're renting it out. It's rented out. It's been rented out. Uh, but I do have my shop there full of all my stuff s s waiting for me. Uh, what is the best way to get out runs on clear coat? Let it dry. Uh, give it a couple days. Um, if you're in a rush, you could probably do it the next day, depending on what speed clears you're. If you're using a speed clear, sometimes you could buff the next day. Sometimes you can buff six hours later. It depends on the product you're using, but most clear coats. 2K clear coats. I like to let sit for three to four days. The longer, the better. Um, if it's a custom project, I'll let it. I'll let it get hard for two, three weeks uh, before I buff. That's just me. I like to have my clear coat set up and cured before I cut and buff. Um, and it just makes sense, you know, for all the solvents to evaporate, right? Uh, have it nice and dried, cured. Then you cut you buff and polish because once you polish and wax or ceramic coat, it seals it and your paint's not going to be able to breathe. So you want to make sure to let your paint breathe for a good few weeks after your paint job. And this is, you know, if you're doing a custom job, you're doing a paint job on a car that you care for, that you want to last, that's sentimental, then you do that. If you're doing an in and out job, a customer, regular customer, it's really, you can, you can do it. Okay. It's not going to, just because you cut and buff a couple days later or a day or two later doesn't mean that the whole paint job is going to blow up after you cut and buff it. But you can still cut and buff, but not seal. You can get it to a glossy state and tell them, hey, keep it like that. Keep it in your garage. Drive. You know, you could use it for a week or two, but I wouldn't wax it uh, for another couple weeks. That's what you tell the customer. But for your information, <clears throat> that's, what you know, KJL, Australia, mate. Hopefully that was helpful, guys. Hopefully that was helpful. <laughs> Robert Mitchell, no problem. Tony B. Ritchie, my daughter's BMW E90. I'm doing a black gloss with Zula Red Volcano Lava Mini Flakes. Wow. Oh, my God, dude. It's, you know, that's the way to do it, though, to put, um, to put flake over black. And I might be flaking out with Jumbo Flake. The BMW. So I'm not sure on the color tones, but we're going to be doing some sort of flake paint job and candy, like jumbo flake, you know, not jumbo jumbo, but like medium, you know, like a medium sized flake. We'll let you know when we decide uh, what flake we're going to do. But I'm thinking gold. I want to just go with a gold flake, just gold flake it out um, with some hot color on it. I don't know yet, but it's going to be cool. Uh, will base coat stick to Rust-Oleum spray primer? Yes, it will. <clears throat> Be painting my truck two-tone. Hopefully the weather holds out. Yes, hopefully. I felt so bad when it turned out great, but my paper came up and got paint on engine bay hoses. Well, if it's on hoses, rubber like that, get a rag, put some lacquer thinner on it, not mineral spirits, okay? Not uh oxy clean or not simple green or not goo gone lacquer thinner the stuff that you use to clean your spray guns or a reducer reducer is a little bit more expensive but if that's all you have a little bit of paint reducer laying around your base coat or clear coat reducer that will take it out as well you put it on a rag you know make sure you have gloves on or make sure the the moist area is not on your hands i mean gets on my hands all the time but then you just wipe off clean your rubber hoses it'll clean right up instantly it'll look like a brand new hose if you use lacquer thinner okay lacquer thinner is good on rubbers lacquer thinner actually can restore rubber uh and get it down to a good rubber and then you put like um a good vinyl protectant on it like zen wax i use zen wax for all my stuff uh so yeah that's pretty much it guys mad max what's up Harold Schwinn, thank you. And here's the last question. Hey, Tony, I'm looking for a low volume, low pressure paint gun, but looking at the Astro CFM pretty high. Dude, you have to look into X88 
Uh, Blue Moon, where do I have it? I was spraying base coat and clear coat with, I couldn't believe how low pressure I was using and how well it was atomizing. Um, I sprayed epoxy and 2K filler primer, 14 to 16 PSI. It was laying it on like glass. Uh, and then the base coat, clear coat, I think I was down to 20. Why do I have water up here? Oh, somebody cleaned something. Uh, I was down to like 22 to 24 PSI spring base coat, clear coat. This is a low volume, low pressure, high transfer efficiency spray gun. Okay, this is the Blue Moon model uh, by Adam X88. And then they have the Infinity model. I don't know if I have it, which is like a purple. I should have one. Here we go. It's like this is this is the Infinity model. Same gun, different look okay uh beautiful guns and they spray at a very low psi so definitely check it out um at zula.com you could check out the x88 spray guns um i'll just send you a link here to the blue moon and it also comes with a gun bud ultra lighting system which is like a 60 dollar value so i'm just going to drop that link right over here guys um other than that i'm going to head out here's the grom um, I have to work on uh, the tail light. I put a new tail light in it the other day, but I'm having a little electrical issue because uh, for some reason, when I step on, when I break it, the 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 high beam brake light doesn't come on for some reason. I don't know. I'm tr I'm troubleshooting the electrical right now, but it's all hooked up. I have everything set. It's just that. For some reason, I'm not getting that. I've been checking the wires, but this is what the Grom looks like. It looks amazing in the sun. And you guys are going to get all the videos on this thing coming out. And it's been coming out. So if you guys haven't seen the two videos that came out on this project where we were doing the rims uh, with epoxies and, and primers and all, uh, definitely look into that. And yes, the Blue Moon does come. Uh, the X88 spray guns, they do come with two tip sizes, two of the most popular 1.3, 1.4 tip size so you can spray all kinds of paints whatever you need to paint uh you got it you got it guys okay let's see arnold ricchetti awesome i really appreciate your help you got it uh mad max what's up okay guys i'm gonna head out thanks for tuning in um new video coming out soon on that Probably we'll get into painting candy rims. You guys, do you want to see that? We'll just do the whole video on candy rims. And then later on, we'll drop the, the complete video. But this thing is going to be customized as well. we got a brand new Model Y 2021. Uh, this thing is going to be next. Uh, we're going to be doing the BMW i3. We're going to be doing the bus too, guys. You're going to see me do a step-by-step -step A to Z transformation on a 40-foot school bus. <laughs> We'll do time lapse. It's going to be insane. Anyway, talk to you soon, guys. Have a great, good to see you, David Lane. Good to see you. Uh, David Lane's been popping on and off for years, guys. David Lane. It's good to see old people. I, there was a guy on here the other day, eight years he joined Learn Auto Body VIP, eight years ago. Maybe not a good ground. Yeah, I got to check it out. I have to troubleshoot that. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, you're here with Tony at Paradise Garage, where every day is paradise. Have a good rest of the week and expect another video around Thursday. I hurt my foot, so I'm hobbling around the past couple days. And, uh, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Peace. See you guys later.